Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth guy and I shaved my beard. Not all the way, but close. But you don't care about that. You care about Kenworth trucks. That's why you're here, right? That's why I'm here, to bring you Kenworth trucks. So let's see what cool Kenworth truck we're looking at today. Well, it's a dump night. back from holidays uh been away for quite a while last video i brought to you i was at uh at camp uh camping but uh we are looking at a beautiful w900b it's a beautiful shade of green this truck is sold to the fine folks at west coast oil field services big thank you to jonathan larry David for purchasing this truck and everybody at West Coast. This is a beautiful green, love the striping on it. It's kind of like a reverse Seminole top uh, stripe, kind of goes all the way across. So, sorry about the camera view here. I just hit reset on my GoPro and it kind of put everything into weird video mode. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it for, for the time being, but uh, Anyhow, let's uh, let's get into the details. W900B, it's a longer wheelbase because we have this pusher axle on it. And I forgot to check before I started the tour what wheelbase this is. I'm gonna guess 260-ish. Has a 13.2 front axle with a wide track, and we have that Texas bumper up front. And this Texas bumper has the turn signals in the corners with marker lights and i love how it ties in the orange to the striping with the orange uh, all the marker lights looks really cool same thing with up top we've got marker lights up top got the dual 15 inch air cleaners on the outside here with the strip lighting the forward strip lighting here on the chrome it's kind of backlit if you will and then on the back side we got the little bit bigger one there it's also backlit love that that's really cool we got the shift products turn signal up above really cool this paint coat is uh, l0533 it's a beautiful shade of green kind of looks like army green in the sun and it's kind of like a forest green here in the uh the shade and where did the exhaust go on this truck huh well, you'll see here in a second uh, we got the polished F tank cover here. We got the polished fuel tanks with the seven inch straps. 
uh, nicely spaced with a center undercab fill. And what is that little chrome piece hanging down below? Well, that is the dual rear of sleeper exhaust. So this is an aftermarket conversion done by the guys at Shift and Jade Transport. Uh, their shop did all this work and it just turned out really cool. Gotta love it. Same thing with this lift axle. This was put on aftermarket. Just love the setup on this here. Love this nice stainless fender over top. And then same thing with the rear fenders here. These are the nice uh, Shift Products mounting hardware on a Class 8 fender. Right there, the Class 8. But nice, uh, nice fender brackets there. And then same thing underneath there. I think that's actually supplied by Class 8, that rear mount. We got the Kenworth uh, four bag air ride, the AG400L. And then there is the nice deck plate, that's from Merit. Uh, we have an in-frame toolbox with an additional Merit deck plate as well. Now what's really cool about this one here is these watermelon lights that are mounted in the exhaust brackets. I just really think that's really neat how they put those in there and there, and then change out the rear bunk of the marker lights as well. So those are right there. We got a sliding fifth wheel on this one here uh, where it's it's using uh, different trailers and needs to adjust sometimes. So a little bit different application with this truck. We got those nice polished rims, just looking really shiny. Michelin tires, Mich uh, X-Multi Energy Ds. And those are the uh, mirror finish. Got the rear mud flaps on there. 342 gear ratio on the Meritier rear axles. And we have disc brakes back here, as you can see right there. Now these trucks have the Alcoa Dura flange. I forgot to mention that uh, before. So these Dura flange, that just helps to protect this little flange here where the tire mounts to the rim. It can wear out over time and it can get really sharp. That Dura flange just keeps it protected longer, giving longer life and wear out of your rim and of your tire. I just love that look, that elbow. That's just so sexy. I love the look of that, that's super cool. We got the larger fuel tank here on this side and this is where the exhaust uh, came out of from the factory originally. It was taken off and kind of closed in. It's looking really sharp. There's those air cleaners again. And let's open up this hood and I'll show you what's inside. Over on this side of the engine, we got the Cummins X15 500 efficiency series engine in here. So that's what uh, is powering this beautiful W900V. We got the fuel water separator, the Davco 382, pretty uh, standard on a lot of the trucks that I'm building as far as option specking. Remote lube terminal, battery boost terminals right there, power steering right over there. And then we got your washer fluids and fuses and relays up above. Let's take a look on the other side. But before we do, I'll just show you here, we have the positive air shut off. So that is a air guillotine to basically kill the air to the engine. So in case it's in the oil field sector and it gets a sniff of fumes, the engine can't run away on itself. If it's starting to run away, hit the switch in the cab and it will close the air and shut the engine down so you don't blow it up. Over on this side here is the hot side. We got your turbo. Uh, we have a standard front axle configuration on here. We did not have the front end lowered or at all. It's just kind of a standard five inch factory drop. And then there is the HVAC system along with the taps to shut them off to the heater core. So that's it under the hood. Let's uh, take a quick peek inside and finish this tour off. So I have to say, I have a real appreciation for guys that do detailing. Uh, when I was at the truck show the other day, 
with that big black W900. It took me about three hours to shine it up and it got rained on four times the same day. I had to wipe it down between each rain, but man, it looked just like this here, just a mirror finish. But it's a lot of work to, to make a truck look this good, especially keeping it nice and shiny. Big shout out to the guys at Trucks put on these nice LED headlights in there. So those are really sweet. Okie dokie, it is hot. It's hot in here. Whew. So what we got going on inside, we have the diamond VIT interior in the nice gray all throughout the cab and sleeper. Looking lovely, gotta love it. We did the full gauge package all the way through, nearly a full gauge switch uh, package as well. So almost all the switches are utilized. Full diff locks, cruise jakes, hazards, air slide, traction control, uh, lift axle control, and then uh, DPF regen there. It's got an 18 speed manual transmission right there. And then down below is the positive air shutoff right there along with the SPAR connection. Over here we have additional switches for mostly lights, interior, exterior lights, and we've got the engine fan as well. And then there's a driving lights and so forth. Uh, beautiful visor uh, from the outside there from Shift Products. Gotta love the look of that. Always looks nice and clean. And as far as in the bunk, we have carpet throughout. And then down below on the 72 inch cab, we have the bunk. I'm just gonna turn the light on here for a quick second. Let's see a bit better. There is the, uh, the refrigerator. We have open shelves. So this is the, the diamond interior. When you order a, a diamond VIT, you get the cabinet doors over top of these shelves. Uh, and then you have the option to get lower drawers as well on the other side. But we have the open shelves here, storage up above, storage over here, and then open shelf right there. Now, in the very back of this bunk here, I don't really want to get anything dirty. Uh, here we have the S-Bar control for the bunk, along with the uh, heat and air conditioning controls for when the truck is running. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Idaho. I don't know if I've ever been to Idaho before. I think when I was a kid, I maybe drove through it. Boise, Idaho. That's a big town in Idaho that I know of. But like I say, I can't say if I've ever... I can't remember ever being there. So. All right. So that's it for this week's video. I know it's a quick, short one. Uh, it is kind of end of the day here, kind of running out of time and want to just uh, get this video quickly recorded, feature this truck. Again, a huge thank you to everybody at West Coast Oil Field Service, uh, Jonathan, David, Larry, and everybody else in the company. Thank you so much for putting your trust in Inland Kenworth and uh, for continuing to work with us over the years. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. I'd appreciate it if you just click that link down below. You can also go to my website, thekenworthguy.com, where you can see more things that we have to bring you. So that's it for this week's video. Uh, don't forget to watch last week's video where we have an, a contest for a free Kenworth hat and comment in that video. Not this one, but the last one if you want to be entered. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we're going to talk about today. So thanks for watching. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.